All right, I just have a minute here before this bell rings. Two and a half minutes, I guess, technically. But I just want to talk about something I see a common mistake people making or something they don't know, is how to um, take a function like this and find, um, find a, a max, like a, like a relative max. So uh, a high point. using their calculator. And so, of course, this graph, I mean, we kind of have an idea of this thing. It's going to be, you know, a, a, a graph of this shape that's, that's shifted up, right? And so I know it's going to kind of look like this, but I'm curious about this point right here. A lot of times in a problem, like, you'll just need some information like that. Well, if you've got this uh, calculator, you can actually type the equation in. So I'm, I press y equals here to get to this screen, and then I've got uh, x cubed um, minus, I uh, can't remember what it was now, I think it was real quick, uh, 3x. x cubed minus 3x plus 5. And I can take a look at this graph. I've got my, my window set a little funky, um, although it's probably okay for this problem. The, the window I have this set out, you can see there. I, I may drop this down. I'll just throw in like a negative three right here. Maybe go up a little bit higher, um, just so you know, make sure we can really get a good look at the graph. We like the way that it looks. So, to calculate the maximum, I went to second and then calculate there, and I want to choose uh, number four right here, the maximum. And it asks me for the left bound. So one way to do this is just to move. If you look at where the cursor is. That's about the maximum right there. So I'm going to go a little bit to the left of it and press enter. And then it asks now for a right bound, if you can see here. So I'm going to go back to the right. There's the max again around there. So I'll make sure I get to the right of it. Press enter again. Then it says guess. Right out of time. I'm going to move in here and, um, and, and I can actually get this value. So this would actually be x equals negative 1 for all practical purposes, and y is 7. And those are giving you the, the coordinates of this point right here that correspond to negative 1 and 7 on this, on this graph. So it's just kind of a, a quick way to do that. Um, one other option would be to uh, actually put in numbers instead of scrolling around on here. So I see, I, my, I want my left bound to be over here somewhere. I could actually put in like negative two right now, and it just pops the cursor over there. And then it asks for the right bound. Well, I know I want it to be past there somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm just gonna put in zero. Just kind of a quick way to get those two values in. And then for my guess, I'll just put negative one, and it'll you know guess in between those two points, and I'll get a little, it's just a little faster way to to get that same result. But um, anyway, just want to throw it out there as a little tutorial to find that max value. Thanks.